becoming a dad or father figure changed your life? So when, when I had my first child, what I realized was that life all of a sudden came full circle. Um, I'm kind of a kid at heart anyway, um, but it was an opportunity for me to once again sort of fulfill my childhood dreams that I never got to conquer or meet through the eyes of my children. Um, and it gave me something uh, else to live for. Um, having children has been not an accomplishment, but it's been a very fun endeavor on my part. And uh, ever since I had kids, life has never been the same. It's great. How did becoming a dad and father figure change your life? Oh my gosh, holding that baby is unbelievable. It really is totally different than anything you've ever experienced. It's uh, very real. All of a sudden you have created life and uh, you've got this huge responsibility beyond yourself. So it's, uh, it's the most amazing thing in the world. How did becoming a dad change your life? Um, it was probably the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. I've been a fireman for, at now, over 40 years. I've saved people's lives out of burning buildings, but that was the absolute coolest thing ever. How did becoming a dad and father figure change your life? Well, actually, when Lily was born, I already had three stepchildren. So my stepchildren were five, seven, and nine. So actually having a child of my own was, was mind-blowing because I could then relate to my stepchildren, and we were all tied together as a family. And I think, you know, probably half of families now are blended. So I just, I'm really proud of the fact that I can have my stepchildren and then Lily, we're all together. It, it doesn't matter whether they're stepchildren or biological children, we're, we're a true family. So historically, schools have generally been monopolized by women, right? There's a major gender imbalance in school. Volunteers, PTA, room moms, you name it. So when you heard the word volunteer at your child's school, what was your first reaction? I think my first reaction was, wow, I really have an opportunity to immerse myself not only in my kids' lives um, in school, uh, but also other children's lives as well. Um, growing up, uh, my mom went to PTA. There was never an opportunity for my father to engage and be involved in other kids' lives in schools as well as my life and my brother's life. So I thought when my kids started school, I was relinquishing this, this duty, but it wasn't a duty that was bestowed on me. It was really just uh, an honor that was bestowed upon me to be able to be involved in my children's lives in a different way from the mundane, you know, household things that go on and things like that. It was, it was a good opportunity for me. When you heard the word volunteer at your child's school, what was your first reaction? And then how did becoming a dude change that? Uh, uh, my daughters, I have two daughters. One's quite a bit older and I have always volunteered. But you know what? Usually it's 99% moms in there. Hardly any dads and it really feels, I just feel so out of place because uh, they've got a thing going, they're doing a great job, it's hard to fit in. Nothing against the moms because it's amazing, but having dudes in school has been has changed everything. It really helps you feel more comfortable as a volunteer, it keeps you involved in the kids, and it's a lot of fun. When you heard the word volunteer at your child's school, what was your first reaction and how did becoming a dude change that? Um, I was always, I always liked to be that guy that would go on the field trips and just be part of the kids' uh, activities, go visit them at lunchtime. But doing this is, being a dude, is even cooler because it's not just your kids now, it's everybody's. And then everybody says, oh, well that's so-and-so's dad. He's a dude in school. And, and that was, that makes it even spe more special. When you heard the word volunteer at your child's school, what was your first reaction? And then how did schools make you feel after you became a dude? Oh, volunteer, I was excited because I, I run a company out of my house. So the fact that I could get out and maybe hit the playground, play kickball, or you know, meet my daughter for lunch, uh, I was really excited to get in the school system. And it's really ideal because when you walk in and you're wearing the Dudes in Schools logos, like the kids really light up and they're excited to see us because we're, predominantly schools are, are female driven. So when they see us and our dudes, you know, they feel like, we feel like superheroes kind of. It's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs>
How did schools make you feel before you joined the dudes? So before I joined dudes in schools, I felt like there wasn't there wasn't room for me. There wasn't an opportunity for similarly situated dads to be able to find time and ways in order in in which to immerse themselves in not only their own children's lives but the lives of others who maybe did not get as much attention um, at home or in school and it's an opportunity really just to sort of spread the love a little bit and show that dads out there care just as much as moms and are just as capable of fulfilling a role that that they need in their lives that otherwise may not be there for them. Why do you think dudes are important to our school? I think dudes are important to our school because it involves uh, all the kids and it makes the kids look at, oh wow, this is, these, these guys are here for us. And it just, to see the smiles, the high fives, it just makes it worthwhile. This summer we want kids to get off their screens and play. Can you offer the students a piece of advice about playing this summer? Guys, COVID's getting better. People are getting vaccinated. It's been almost a year since we've been back to normal and we've been able to enjoy the outdoors, athletics, sports, organized groups. Now we can again. Why don't we embrace this opportunity, get off our duffs, put the technology down for a second and let's enjoy each other and outside and everything that God has given us and offered us. Um, it's a great opportunity to get involved with other people um, engage others in the community and, and get some fun time outside under the sun. This summer we want our kids to get off their screens and play. Can you offer the students a piece of advice about playing this summer? Get outside. This is the eastern shore. There are frogs and turtles everywhere. You just need to walk around and uh, be creative and look under leaves, look under logs. You'll have a great time. So just get outside and go with it. This summer, we want kids to get off their screens and play. Can you offer the students a piece of advice about playing all summer long? Well, uh, I think the kids have, over this last devastating year, um, with being at, on screens and, and just having their little devices and, and not having that vitamin D in the sunlight, um, we we uh, we signed the uh, my youngest up for baseball, and I ended up I'm coaching that team, and and they love being outside, and we uh, we live right on the water, so we'll be fishing, and um, I think it's it's tremendous to be able just to get out. We have lakes in our area, right off Main Street. You can go fishing. Uh, there's parks all over the place. So yeah, get 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 your parents or your brother and sister, and just go and enjoy it. And being outside is the best thing. And when the street's lights come on, get home. <laughs> summer, we want our kids to get off their screens and play. Can you offer the students a piece of advice about playing this summer? Absolutely. I mean, we live on the Eastern Shore, the Chesapeake Bay. There's water everywhere, you know, find water, find beaches. I mean, it's, you gotta get that vitamin, is it C or D? One of those, right? But just get a suntan. Um, I think the kids have been on computer screens for a year now. So as a parent, I have no problem kicking them out and say, hey, let's go outside and get some sun. Hey dudes, this is Amanda Enzer, the OG mom of dudes in schools. We need you to come be a volunteer with us. If you're interested, hit me up at dudesinschools at gmail.com. Right. Okay, and uh, creates, I don't know what to say. Hold on. If you would like to know more about us, email me at dudesinschools at gmail.com. Oh my god, what is that? So no, wait, 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 I forget. Where am I looking? I didn't pay attention. Right here. Shut up, Zach. See okay. these. Oh, yeah, like, right did you tell me that? See these dots right here? Yeah, okay, this.